In 2019, when ASEAN was badly hit by transboundary haze, Malaysia was not spared. Schools were closed and my kids have to stay at home. My research areas are in mobile and satellite communications. And when I completed my PhD from University of Surrey in 20, 2009, I told my PhD supervisor, Barry, we always need technology to help with the community. Prof Adwati has been working with Forestry Department on this project since 2018 and IoT system has complemented the manual peatland data collection for better peatland forest monitoring. The system has helped improve forest fire occurrence which could lead to transboundary haze. In 2018, I led an ASEAN level project funded by NICT Japan to improve peatland monitoring and management in Malaysia, Indonesia and Brunei. Peatland forest fires are not like the other kind of forest fires. Its carbon content in the soil makes it easier to fight for fire to spread, especially underground. The problem is unique, especially when peatland forests are largely concentrated in ASEAN region. Through the use of IoT system, Internet of Things, complementing the existing manual peatland data collection, an improved peatland monitoring and management is achieved. Peatland data such as groundwater level, soil moisture, soil temperature are analysed with weather-related data. From the integrated and sharing of peatland data, prediction of potential forest fires can be estimated. Cleaner air can be ensured since forest fires can be avoided and detected through this IoT-based peatland monitoring. The project is also looking into other aspects of wireless communications, especially the use of LoRa technology and its potential integration with mobile and satellite networks. The team is also working with telcos, IoT system providers, and regulatory body to analyze the optimal transmission system. The work has been well promoted in the local and regional newspapers and websites. It has also received an award in MTE 2021. Prof. Dawati, has not only helped us with our PhD journey, but she also inspired us to always push ourselves to do our very best in everything. She set the bar high and guided us how to achieve it. When I was a teenager and I was in high school, STEM was my only option to get scholarships and to excel in my study. And I strive for it, but now I can see that STEM intake in Malaysia is declining. And this is a very sad situation for all of us because to get to be a developed country, STEM plays an important role to, to gear the, the, the country forward. So I hope that this award will make me reach out to the community to create you know, awareness and get participations from girls and women in Malaysia, in ASEAN region. Mm -hmm.